What's happening YouTube? We're going back at it again at, with Armored Core 4 this time. We're going to be playing here on the ROG Ally, just to show you I'm actually on the Ally. Here's the you know Command Center, and here's the Armory Crate we got going on. So if we're here, uh, when I'm doing screen capture, it's a little bit difficult to have to use the right analog stick. Most important things you got to look at is CPU, leave everything alone. Right here, make sure you have right color buffers enabled. Um, otherwise, it gives you on your um, on your armored core, it gives you this like rainbowish color texture issue. So make sure you fix that, and then just go here under advanced. Gotta find it here, and then I'm changing this to 120 hertz. All that allows you to do is you know increase the FPS the game runs at. I'm gonna click apply, save custom, and then I'm gonna start the game here. Double click it here. Just start up. There we go. And I'm going to make this full screen now. There we go. And I'm going to change this here to auto. Actually, just leave it to gamepad. And we should be working here. There we go. Perfectly fine. Now we are going to enable the real time monitor here. We're going to leave it on the top right corner. Now, right now we are running on turbo. It says 25 watts. I do have it connected to power, but it won't show the 30 because it's a different adapter at the moment. Um, but I like using the manual mode on this one here. And what I like doing actually is if we go to armory crate here. And, uh, sorry, settings, uh, operate mode. I'm currently at just 15 on everything. Um, it gives you really good battery life. So let's just go here, start the game. Continue where I left off. And let's do elimination here. Let's confirm the mission. Mm -hmm. GA's Hazen facility has been occupied by an armed terrorist group. The enemy is relying so mostly on old weaponry, but it's possible they've acted. The mission objective is a complete elimination of terrorist forces. Your movement will be limited. issues when it comes to setting up RPTS glad you're all right. armory crate, you know, just move the menu load here. Uh, all you need to do is, if we go back here, uh, go to our main page, game library. Um, if you look on, if we just want to add a game here, um, all right, so there it is. So if we want to add something here, if you look at the bottom right menu, I can't show you what the analog here, sorry about that. But it says open file explorer click lbrb all it tells you is just click the trigger button and that allows you to basically open up wherever you want um you know i'm not gonna open anything here change this close this so i can 
actually control the button here because I'm recording. But you just tell it wherever you want, wherever you have a game, no problem. Cancel this, there we go. But that's how you could add some games, even if you have like an emulator or a uh, lunchbox, uh, it's working fine. I might change this to something else. Uh, Steam games run extremely easy. Uh, Chiaki, it's it's working. That's all I can really say right now. I will say Final Fantasy XV is running really smooth, um, even at custom power settings. So I'll make another video on that one. And I will say Tale of, Tales of Arise runs amazing on the Ally. I got two hours of gameplay running at 1080p medium textures, but two full hours of gameplay get, was getting about 40 FPS and with the VRR screen um, just runs amazing. But hey, if you're looking forward to more armor core videos, you know, we got fires of moving on coming up pretty soon.